Yo, Kepi Sky here. What's going on? And welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about how to set up a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos sound system. If you haven't seen my previous how to videos, we started from the very bottom. What is a receiver and how to set it up? Then we talked about how to set up your basic 5.1 home theater system. Then we leveled up and did a 7.1, and now we're talking about a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos system. So if you haven't seen some of the earlier videos and you wanna get an idea of how to set those up, make sure you take a look at my how-to playlist linked down below. Now, before we continue, I have been doing a giveaway and I do have a winner for the previous giveaway. We are giving away a Sofa Baton U1 Universal Remote. And the winner that I have chosen, I have it right here, his name is Trinity For Me. He left me a comment, hashtag KPSGuy, and I have randomly selected you as the winner of this remote. Now, if you wanted to win something, don't worry, I have two more remotes to give away plus another 20 other items. So. Make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this video to enter in my next giveaway. So remember, we've already talked about how to start your home theater. So now we're moving into the Dolby Atmos section. But what do the numbers mean in a 5.1.2 what does that mean to you? Well, let's start with the five. Five represents the bed layer speakers, the speakers that are on the ground. So front left, center, front right, rear left, and rear right. Those are your five speakers. Five plus one, meaning subwoofer. One is the subwoofer. Now, the number of subwoofers doesn't matter. If you have one, two, three, four, five, insert that number there, but that point one means subwoofer. So five speakers plus one subwoofer, or however many you have, plus two Dolby Atmos speakers. So the two and the 5.1.2 means how many speakers do I have in the ceiling? So five bed layer speakers plus however many subwoofers plus two ceiling speakers or Atmos speakers, speakers on the wall, up firing speakers. That's what the two will mean to you. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up a home theater since we're getting into more moderate level stuff. So those two Atmos speakers, let's talk about where you place them. A lot of people ask me, should I put the two Atmos speakers in the front? Should I put them in the back? Should I put them in the middle? Where do I put them if I'm only using two? Well, this is my personal opinion, but I have found it to give me the best results. If you're only gonna run two Dolby Atmos speakers, first and foremost, I would place them in the front of the room, as high on the wall as you can, or actually in the ceiling. Now, you don't wanna just stick them in the ceiling and point them straight down, you wanna point them towards your listening position. Now, some people may live in an apartment like myself, and you may not be allowed to have speakers in your ceiling. You may not be allowed to install speakers and drill holes into your ceiling per the landlord, right? So what do you do? Well, there's things like the SVS Prime elevations that are made to hang from the ceiling but not be installed into the ceiling. So it gives you the same sort of idea without drilling a huge circle out of your ceiling. Now you can also do what I've done and put them on the walls. You wanna put them as high up on the wall as you can and angle them towards your listening position. This will also give you that height that you need and it'll still fire towards your listening position. If you can, it's best to have them maybe not above you, above the speakers, but maybe move them a little bit forward. You want to have them a little bit more into the room so that you have that differentiation between your front speakers and your Atmos speaker. So maybe you can, maybe you can't. It kind of just depends on your room. Now, what's most ideal is that you do have them installed into the ceiling. That way you can get the correct placement slightly in front of your listening position, well above your head about 10 feet. Eight to 10 feet is perfect so that it's not too far away. You can still hear them and angle them towards you so that you get that realism when things are moving over your head. Now, how wide do you want to put them? Well. Me personally, I like to put my Atmos speakers as wide as my listening position or as wide as my front speakers are. I'd rather not have them inside my listening position because you're kind of stuck in one area. You want to have them wide so that it fills a lot of space on the couch. So don't have them too close to each other to where there's only one narrow sweet spot. Put a little space in between them, five, six feet, so that you have that dispersion across all listening positions in case you want to lounge this way, lounge this way or lounge this way 
<laughs> There's nothing wrong with putting your two Atmos speakers above you, behind your seating. There's nothing wrong with that either. The reason why I think personally it's best to have them in the front of the room instead of behind you is because most things fly from front to back in a movie. Most, most things go from left to right, but not a, lot, not a lot of things go back to front, right? Atmos music a lot of that stuff is atmospheric. There's not really much of a direction, but I have found listening to Atmos music that it sounds better when you have your front set up versus the rear Atmos speaker. It just feels better. It just sounds a little bit better, more enveloped, especially because when you're listening to music, everything's supposed to be in front of you anyway. So if you listen to Atmos music, if you're only going to use two speakers, it's probably best to have them in the front of you just to help complement the rest of the soundstage. So if you decide that you want to do Dolby Atmos speakers, but you don't want to have to run wires all the way through the room or through the ceiling or through the wall, whatever, if you don't want to see your wires, well, I've learned that this is a really friendly kit here. This is the Dynasty Pro Audio Wireless Surround Sound Kit, and it has an option to plug a sub up to this. I've done a video of this, so definitely type in K-Pay Sky Dynasty Pro Audio. This will pop up. These are excellent uh, wireless surround kits where you can plug up your Atmos speakers wirelessly so you're not stringing a giant wire, a long wire across your room to your Atmos speakers. This allows you to make them primarily wireless and it has an option to have a wireless subwoofer too. So if you have more than one sub and your subs in the back of the room or further away from your receiver, you can make the subwoofer wireless all in this one kit. This has a amplifier built in so it, it adds power to your speaker. So you do have to have RCA outputs on your receiver to use this, but you plug those RCAs to this and then you plug your speakers to the receiver and it allows you to wirelessly transmit that audio to whatever speakers you wanna use. And I found this to be really good for Atmos speakers. I'm also gonna be giving this away. If you wanna win this, here's how. To enter in this giveaway, all you have to do is first hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, you will not be chosen, so make sure you're a subscriber. Second, hit the like button. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And then the third thing is to go down to the comment section and leave me hashtag wireless. That's it. Subscribe, like the video, and put hashtag wireless so I know that you want to win this. And in the next video, I will announce a winner. Simple as that. I'll also leave you a comment on this video saying, hey, you've won, so on and so forth. Now, please, guys, there are scammers out there. There are ways to tell that it's not me. Please, please, please don't respond to scammers. I have had some people tell me that they have and they've lost some money. Please understand that I will comment back to you specifically. I will make it obvious that it's me and I will announce you in the video just like I did in the beginning of this one. So remember, hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave me a comment, hashtag wireless, and I will pick a winner for this wireless setup in the next video. And we will do that for the next 21 days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, leave me some questions down below if you wanna know a little bit more about Dolby Atmos, how to set it up, and make sure you go down to my playlist called How To and How To Revamped for more information on how to set up a home theater. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already, and we will see you in the next video. Keep us guy out. Peace.